bananas. It's time to go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's get out of our kitchen. Come on, let's go. I'll give you a banana. Go, come on. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, who wants some bananas? Here. We should close the door. I'm gonna close the door. Sam. Hi guys. Hey, feisty. <laughs> it's, like a, it's, a, it's a monkey piece. Give the other guy one over there. What do you think, Juliana? Well, they came for some bananas. They stole it out off of our counter, so now we have to give them some, I guess. Look <laughs> at <laughs> this guy. Okay, one more. Ooh. Okay, little guy. You're so funny. All right, let's get on with our life. So? <laughs> Can you flip it? Oh, I gotta flip it. to do a very impromptu <laughs> it's like there's monkeys in the kitchen live stream let's do a and live stream as we were about to live stream i went into the kitchen and literally there were monkeys trying to get into our fruit bowl so they think they saw that maybe <laughs> well no man to end up giving them our bananas this isn't the first time it's happened welcome to brazil <laughs> welcome hi everyone oh, goodness. so we we thought we would um coffee. thought we'd have coffee. Can we say hello to you guys? Yes. I feel like it's been so long since we've done a live stream and a little update on everything that's going on with Boho Beautiful and us and all the craziness of life. So here we are. <laughs> oh, can you guys hear us? I don't even know. Like, is this working? We don't, I see people saying stuff and that's really awesome. But give us yes. a sign. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you. So yeah, live, 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 literally last second. Like, let's do something different today, right? Okay? Mm. What do you think of that? So what is up with Boho Beautiful? <laughs> well, as we mentioned, we are here in Brazil right now. Uh, we've been here for the last three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. Um, in the province of ba ba Bahia. 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 I have so much trouble with Portuguese, guys. It's out of control. Yeah. We thought, yeah, we have a grasp of Spanish. Mm -hmm. We'll be able to handle ourselves <laughs> here. Um, there are some similarities, and there are. Yeah. But it's terribly, uh, mm. terribly difficult. Yes. Um, Xavier, some of you guys are asking, he is with our nanny. You know, we actually, we're here working and editing a brand new program that we're really excited to announce and share more details about come a um, couple weeks. It'll be released January 1st, but we brought out a crew with us here to help us with the edit and one of the wonderful people is Alice, who is our nanny, who took Xavier for a walk right now so we could do this live stream before his nap time. And she missed all the monkeys. And she missed all the monkeys. <laughs> so, um, what's going on in our world? It's just a quick update. We thought we'd give an update because actually we're going to be going to Ukraine in a week. Mm -hmm. So it's like we're rounding out 
of what's been a really intense work schedule yeah. of shooting our new program. So we were actually in the Canary Islands um, just before here uh, shooting a brand new program um, that you guys will hear very soon about. And then we just needed to go somewhere where it was comfortable and warm and that we can continue to create some more content for you guys but also really focus and work with our team. And so life kind of brought us here and Brazil is amazing and we love it. And and we're in Trancoso, someone's mm -hmm. asking. We're in the beautiful town, like tiny little beach collective town. beach yeah. town of Trancoso. Mm -hmm. And it's wonderful and everyone here is so cool and so, so kind. kind and mm -hmm. Yeah, we've just kind Brazil's of settled amazing. into a nice like work workflow. We've been working a lot on the computers. Oh but, my god, uh, insane. Lanzarote, someone was asking which Canary Island. Yeah. We were in Lanzarote. Um, and so yeah, it's Black Friday, the week, or mm -hmm. weekend or whatever. So there's lots going on in our world, giving um, a massive discount on the programs, on the premium programs, which we talked a lot about to each other this week and yeah. weekend just being like seeing um people finding value so many years later still in things that you know youtube videos are great to make and officials are wonderful but we really put our heart and soul and we're putting our heart and soul right now into our new program which is called ascension and like it's like a few mm. months of just intense work every time we do one and to see you guys responding so positively mm -hmm. Um, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, no, it, it is. Like it's, and it's, I don't know, it just makes it all worthwhile in a beautiful way, don't you think? Mm -hmm. No, exactly. And, you know, every every program that we put out, we put so much heart and soul into it. And as, you, as Mark mentioned, once a year we like to, you know, jump on the wagon of the whole pre-Christmas, pre-gifting season where we like to also give people the opportunity to get one of our programs at a discounted rate so then you know you can gift yourself or someone that you love the gift of health and well-being as we say it so so you if you guys are interested in any of our premium programs such as transform retreat complete um you can go to our website and we have 40 percent off um which is till tomorrow night that's yeah. when the sale ends but mm -hmm. what's cool i think like we wrote about mm -hmm. it on the community board here it's like i think what's interesting seeing creators that we follow on youtube doing the same thing and creating this really beautiful opportunity for people to have options just as easily as it is to click on amazon and all kinds of like to go find whatever you know sort of I don't like saying soulless but like things that don't have as much like heart and soul and like people's creativity and artists and, and like the, the art of like creating your life and creating a product to share with people in a marketplace like this and like I see so many creators we follow offering things this weekend too and it's like yeah it's it's, re it's like there's been a turning of the tide over the last five or ten years and it's so beautiful to see that mm. now like it's a level playing field in a yeah. way. Yeah, and I think it's a great opportunity for people to really um, look what's out there and allow that to inspire them for you know the the gifts that they want to give to their loved ones. Yeah, right? I mean, mm -hmm. we don't give gifts to each other. Mm -hmm. We we actually just spend time and try to create experiences mm -hmm. um, and make moments more than like going out and buying things for each other. Yeah. Um, and I think that's like been a thing since we first 10 years now. Mm -hmm. That's sort of how we've always done it. And I think like we encourage that and like li we love to talk about that because it, it's, you know, life is all we have is time. And so to give the gift of your time to someone and creating special moments and more memories and it becomes, it's more valuable than anything that Juliana could buy me is spending a day and being like, no, no, let's shut everything off and just yeah. like focus on each other. Mm. So I don't know. It's, that's kind of neat, right? So that's, that's what's going on. In, in I got the... sentimental, and then that was that. <laughs> no, but I think what I was like trying to say within terms of gifts and everything is that um, if you can gift yourself or somebody the gift of embettering and optimizing their life and giving them a tool to do that, I think that's the best type of gift you can give, whether that is like a program or a subscription to something that you know will embetter them or maybe i don't know master class like whatever it is like that can help people uplift their frequency in their mm -hmm. life in a greater way i think that's one of the greatest gifts you could give someone over a toaster or a toaster i don't know like a it's true, like a physical thing right yeah, physical, like, yeah. some mm -hmm. physical things like a beautiful painting like, yeah. you know or something that someone created like i think we're just talking about 
exchanging energy. And when yeah. someone's created something with their own energy and you're able to access it and then give that energy to somebody, it's a, it's a wonderful thing mm -hmm. to do. And, it, and I think that's what's so fascinating with the way that the marketplace of e-commerce has moved, that everyone's able to do it. Yeah. So you see everyone doing it. It makes it really actually, it makes it really cool. You mm -hmm. can get almost anything now. And it's like... And you also have to remember that you vote with your dollars, right? So whatever you decide to put your money into is kind of like your vote towards that energy towards that specific um, thing or, or idea. So and that's, that's kind of like always something to a good think Christmas about. message. There we go. That's our holiday message. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that so that's yeah. going on. And yeah, like we were saying, we've been here in in Trancoso. And we recently, if you guys have noticed, uh, finally released a pre-sale announcement oh. of the prenatal program that has been literally 18 months in the making so when i found out that i was pregnant with xavian outside of us just being super excited that our life was about to change in a beautiful way um you know i started really diving into researching and studying and trying to understand my journey and how i'm going to maneuver through the changes physically and emotionally that i'm going to be going through and as i began to enrich my own knowledge that's kind of how the program began to birth itself as well and so through my entire pregnancy we shot every trimester we shot 10 classes per trimester um, of different yoga and fitness videos that were relating to that particular time of, of my journey and so finally um, we released the pre-sale it's, it's, it's been a long road it has been a long road and the program will be released December 12th but I think we're just we're so proud of this because I just really believe that my hope is that it will provide a beautiful tool for any moms to be out there because I feel like I was searching for that when I was pregnant and I wish there was something like a package that I could have found for myself to follow along and so to be able to create something like that for for any women out there that are looking for some guidance through this beautiful journey into becoming a mom um, I hope it, it can serve them in that way so it's it's out if you guys if you're pregnant or you know someone that's pregnant or about to have a baby you can also go to our website and all the information about the prenatal program is up there but it's a very special one for mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. that's so beautiful I mean, it's crazy. It's just like I can't even believe it was like almost a year ago that Xavier was born, mm -hmm. and it's like literally I don't know, like almost a year. Can you guys believe it? He's gonna be one year, oh, one years old. So today January was a 13th. big day for Xavier, and that's an update. <laughs> this morning he woke us up at 4 a.m. and we took him out for a walk after getting our videos ready today to post, and um, we bought a coconut and taught him how to drink out of a straw. It was really cool. It was for the first time he's able to suck it in. And then <laughs> later today, he stood for the first time. Yeah. So it's a double whammy kind of day. Yeah, and I see a few questions coming up about um, if we're going to be posting our birth thing blog. Oh my goodness. Yes, Let's yes, talk yes, about yes. that. <laughs> so you guys, some of you might know, we do have a personal YouTube channel called Our Boho Life. Yeah, if you go to youtube.com slash mm -hmm. Our, is it Boho Beautiful Life, I think? Our Boho Life. Or just Life. search Boho Beautiful in yeah. the bar up there. You can, you can find our second channel. And yeah. it's something that meant so much to us. And there's six videos on it right now. And each one of them, actually, it weighs pretty heavily into our hearts. Like, yeah. it's our favorite thing, I think, that we've created in the last year, in a way. Mm -hmm. um, and it's something that when we started, um, what happened? What happened? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Kind of staring off. I'm like, you left oh, me your draw. I know you're reading comments. I'm reading comments. <laughs> tell the story. So like, tell the story. Uh, well, we wanted to have, find a place where we could post some more personal videos, and we didn't want to overcrowd the little beautiful yoga channel. Um, so this could be more of a uh, like a class-based channel, and we had so much fun with it, and we still do. But to be honest, like we got so much going on, and being new parents, and launching programs, and, and you know, continuing with the content out outflow of content for our app and the youtube channel like we just honestly haven't found a second to ourselves to create another video in like six months like it's been a long and time it's so sad because it's something when we post on there and the videos that are on there especially the very last one we did of xavian yeah like there's i don't know it just means so much to us it's like being creative for the sake of being creative yeah and so we actually we do have this birthing video is going to be something very very special that hopefully maybe in the new year we'll be able to release once we have a little bit more breathing room in our life 
Um, but um, for those of you guys that don't know, I did. I had a home birth. Uh, Xavier was born in Costa Rica in a house, and we actually filmed my whole entire experience. And so I'm really excited and inspired mm -hmm. to one day be able to share it and, and hopefully just share my journey with, with anyone out there that's interested. Once we get this program done, but it's way in front of the line. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe we'll get around to that. But and go check out the YouTube channel and subscribe, guys. It, we haven't posted in a while, but we should be. I think we might post some shorter stuff in there. Like, just like. It's funny. I know, it's been really, really, really gay. But just, yeah, basically just post some. I don't know, like. I, I really like to talk about, like, what it's like your first year being a parent for us. You know, mm -hmm. like, a year in parenting. Or, like, the birth story video. Or, we have this really funny video about us talking about what we will be like when we're parents. A like, year to, before like, we knew Xavier yeah. was on his way. So yeah. that'd be really cool to, like, match up together. And Costa Rica, I've seen a few comments come through here. You guys are curious about, are we li living in Costa Rica? Did we leave Costa Rica? Um, we've just been kind of going with the flow, to be honest, right now. Um, Costa Rica is definitely our home. Like, we actually have a place to come back to there. And we will be returning back to Costa Rica in January. But we left Canada in October. Well, we went to visit family. We went to visit family for the summer in Canada. So we left home to yeah. go back to old home. <laughs> to old home. <laughs> we left new home to go to old home. Yeah. Because Xavier needed to meet people. Yeah. You know, he's that kind of guy. He needs social life. He's got to meet everybody. And then once, you know, October rolled in, we just decided that it was time for us to create something beautiful for the new year. And so it's kind of taken us on this journey where we went to Spain and then now we're here. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll be spending the holidays with my family in Ukraine, which is going to be really exciting. I haven't seen my family in a long time. Um, We've been spending a lot of time. Davian has sparked the fire and desire to see all our family. So yeah. it pushed us out of Costa Rica, but we'll be going back. In January, in January. so we will be back there. And, um, and we won't be going back to Canada. No, we won't be back. Which is a heartbreak. Yeah. But um, hopefully... <sighs> Hopefully they'll sort their shit out there soon. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So we just wanted to hop on and say yeah. hello, you guys. We're actually going to be doing a live stream on our Instagram as well. Um, oh, so yeah. if you don't follow us on Instagram, you can well, find fun, us cause, there. Cause we, beautiful life. Because mm. we can like, yeah, build it, cause we can tag mm. people in on it and talk with them more than just kind of yeah. this. But this no, is but cool. you guys are sending us such kind comments. Thank you so much. It, it really warms our heart yeah. to see your response, and it, it's amazing that our videos are able to bring some love and light to your life and that that means everything to us so thank you mm -hmm. so Suzanne I would like to say thank you for being here with us because she says I want to say thank you you both are great thank you for your classes and your vibes you've helped me through different times different, different times maybe even difficult but mm -hmm. also different because they've been very very different um, we're just going to run on some comments. What do you think of that? Sure, yeah. bit? How's that? You guys How? want us to run on some comments? Yeah. <laughs> May I ask Mark what the tattoo on your right shoulder? I love the look of it. Well, actually, this is my favorite one right here. Is and, it? Yeah. It's a matching one. Kind of inspired by the artist we love, Hannah. And she, her paintings are in the back of uh, a lot of our videos. A lot of our videos. Yeah. And we got them in Indonesia and it was a cover up, but it, 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 it turned out to be really beautiful. It's actually um, a man. A, ma a male meditating mm -hmm. and on one, a, and, and it's a female, a female, and it's supposed to correspond with the masculine and the female energy. Yeah, yeah. And so it, li it lies on my feminine mm -hmm. and masculine side. And I don't know. There's a lot of mm -hmm. symbolism in it, just like yours, actually. Mm -hmm. Just show yours for a second. There you go. I don't know. I can't really see anything in this camera, can yeah. you? We literally just have a, <laughs> a cell phone go. sitting on a little bowl that has a bunch of burnt Palo Santo and sage, which is kind of cute. This is the state of our of our live streams. Um, I saw someone asking us, how are we coping with COVID? Um, we're going where we're welcome. Yeah, we're just going with the flow and we're being safe and cautious and mindful. And taking um, lots of vitamins. Taking great vitamins, supplements, just to keep ourselves healthy, for our immune system positive, strong. Fighting against the fear mongering yeah. going on all over the world. Try not to read any of the news headlines yeah. because they just don't stop them pushing fear on everybody so we just kind of found our own little bubble and and coping with it in a way as we try to live our life the way the best as we can surrounded with love and, and good people good energy good food and just fill ourselves up with lots of sunshine and mm -hmm. good vibes and that's right the only way i guess to deal with the 
insanity of um, you know everything that's going on right now in the world is just to find your own bubble of, of peace and positivity and try to just like live in it. And I think the one thing that's helped us through this whole thing and we like to share the idea of is no matter how crazy everything gets outside of you, looking inside is where you can control how you, like that's where you, you generate the emotions of how you feel. So you can control your inner world even when you can't your outer world. So we work really hard on finding rituals, like positive rituals that reinforce really good habits and a positive mental attitude and, and, and a good focused energy and we do our best to keep creating and keep loving and keep seeing the light. And that's worked quite well in our favor. Yeah, I think. and I think that's what we hope to inspire and recommend to everybody else. I mean, you really can't control what goes around goes on around you, right? The external circumstances, but what we always have control over is our internal experience and so if we just make certain choices in our life to remove the fear and the negativity and everything that we know lowers our energetic frequency then we can just create this world for ourselves that is full of love and happiness and as much as it is like we're turning the other way to the fear but at this point like this is the best we can do yeah. in, a, in, a t in an uncertain time like this because i feel like we're going to be in these strange times for a long time. I don't yeah, think this is going anywhere. to just disappear. And so it's like, well, how do we now maneuver through this? Because it's here. So let's let's be the best we can in, yeah. in a circumstance that we can control. And it's funny, mm -hmm. I ta I've talked with a few people, we didn't have this come up in conversation, but when COVID hit, it felt like, and it still continues every day that COVID is here, to give people an opportunity and a choice. Are you gonna let, and not just the virus of it, but are you gonna let it win and drag you down? Or are you going to take it as an opportunity and find, you know, whether the hardship will come on you and you have more time in your life or you're locked down or whatever it is, or are you going to figure out how to take the cards you dealt with and rise up above the circumstances? Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that, like, we, it's hard. It's always hard to rise above anything um, in regular circumstances. But I think for us, um, that's been, like, the beautiful challenge of all of this is how do you... How do you, in when the whole world is telling you that everything's out of control, find serenity inside and enough that you can build a foundation to, to grow and to prosper and to expand amidst? Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I love that comment Anna just wrote, love, not fear. Exactly. Love, awesome. love over fear, right? We always, I love this idea that in every circumstance we have two choices, right? We can either choose with love or we can choose with fear. And really the choice is up to us. So. <laughs> Hold the power in your heart, and that's, that's how you win. So create the imaginable is asking, how many hours of labor did you go through, or did the baby just pop oh. out? No, he did not pop out. <laughs> uh, it was a 33-hour labor that I went through. It was quite intense, but magical. Um, difficult, but I would do it again. You know, it was one of those things that uh, I wanted to... My birth plan that I had was to experience birth and labor in the most natural way as, as women and ancestors came before us and, and have brought life into this world. Um, you know, and I, I went into labor with that idea, but also understanding that it's birth and that really you have to surrender because anything goes and, you know, things could change and you'd have to surrender to that as well. And, you know, and so I kind of just went in with that in my mind and went through a very long, crazy labor. But we'll, we'll, handled it like honestly she was a warrior she was a beautiful elegant graceful warrior <laughs> fighting a battle of 33 hours it was a battle but a beautiful mm -hmm. one no, and do amazing. it again yeah it was amazing yeah it was such a it was i can't wait to actually create a video where we can talk a little bit more in depth about this experience and hopefully inspire the world mm -hmm. in a different way and returns to birth and birth consciousness so. okay moving along Yes. That's beautiful. Yeah. Um, how about a curly llama? I'm not going to get into this too much, but I like the name curly llama, or llama, I'm not sure. But Mark, can you share your experience with playing music and collaborating with Avril Lavigne? Where did you see yourself without ever meeting Juliana? Mm -hmm. It's quite a lifestyle change. That's, what, that's, mm -hmm. that's the question. So I used to play bass. I was Avril Lavigne's first bass player. Um, and like before her first record came out and then into the first it was like a long weird journey of my life but it was amazing you're like a different person back in that day yeah i think well a no, same life. person different circumstances yeah. um 
and I, I mean, the experience was amazing because I was used to playing in punk rock bands. So living in bands and traveling around the world and Canada and America and like playing in dingy little clubs, like, and like, it was a completely different shift. And I think it taught me a lot about, um, I don't know, it taught me a lot about how, again, we're talking a lot about circumstances here, but like how your circumstances don't define who you are. And eventually that's why I left because I saw it beginning to find everybody in the band and, and her and everyone and it just didn't feel right to me so I walked away but I knew there was something more in life and I think we've talked about this recently and I think that's why it's cool to talk about but it's like when you have that voice inside of you when you have that feeling that whatever mm -hmm. you're doing good or bad that intuition that intuition yeah. and it's speaking to you and it's telling you you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing no matter how amazing it might be because yeah it was cool to like go to the grammys and play on david letterman and a whole bunch of stuff like that like that of course but like it was cool to the ego i guess exactly more than anything right the, the ego was satisfied but your soul was was dying yeah, yeah. but my soul was dying and it was yeah. screaming at me and i knew that and i think honestly i, I I truly believe that part of the, not part, the entire, the entirety of why I wasn't settled into that, like everybody else, was because there was more work to be done. It wasn't time to coast yet. And that's a lifestyle of coast. Mm -hmm. However, I did see her new music video. And I haven't she, talked to her in like a decade. Well. Yeah. And that new music video with Travis Barker, like, it was crazy. It's, it's really cool. She looks the same in like yeah, 20 does. years. You're like, wow, for you, I haven't changed. So funny, eh? Anyways, maybe we should probably hop off and get into our Instagram. We're trying to merge two live streams together, one here and one on Instagram. And Xavier's got to go down for a nap shortly. I'm like, nap schedules now. <laughs> I'm kind of connecting our life with his naps. And, you know, any moms out there, you feel me on this. Right. <laughs> Living your life around, you know, his clock. So. So, yeah. yeah. Here we are, guys. For those of you that caught this live with us, thanks for being here and chilling with yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. I know it was just a random, yeah, like, random. pop online, but it was just nice to connect with everybody and say hello and say thank you yeah. and just to bring some love and light to all of you. I know the world kind of getting crazy again with all this stuff. Ramping so back up. We just hope that um, we can share some of our love to you guys and hope you're all well and you're staying healthy and positive and just follow the light, follow the love, ignore the fear. Everything will be okay. Come on over to Instagram now. Yeah. Uh, come over to our Instagram page probably in the next five minutes. We'll go well, live. Well, beautiful there. life. And, uh, That's cool, right? We'll do some and, more chatting. But maybe we'll, we'll, we'll try and do that thing where you, like, where you connect them in. We did that during COVID a lot. Okay. No, you don't want to do that? Sure. Try it up. Put her on the spot, I guess. <laughs> She's just staring at me like, I'm like, okay, we won't try to do that. Anyway. <laughs> All right, guys. Lots of love. Mwah. Thank you, guys. Mwah. Talk to you. You guys know how to turn this thing off? Maybe that axe.